You are the greatest consumers in the history of the world. You're more about getting things as a generation than any generation that has gone before you. What I worry about is you are more concerned about being consumers than you are about being Christians. If that's true, then you are not our prophets and you are not our visionaries. I don't want to ruin your wardrobe, but it seems to me that if you walk around advertising Abercrombie and Fitch and American Eagle and Hollister and Hurley, and they are not paying you to wear their brands on your body, then you are better than they are. And what you are signifying is that I am a consumer. That's what you're signifying. See how good a consumer I am? I get that there are pressures. I get that you yearn to fit in. It is the great paradox of the age. As technologically connected as you are, and you are, you are the most technologically connected generation in the world. As technologically connected as you are, social networking, etc., the research is saying, you are saying over and over again, I feel so, oh, I feel so isolated. I feel so alone. I feel so abandoned. Those are the three words. You are saying to the rest of us, I feel so isolated. I feel so abandoned. I feel so alone. Okay, so you just heard Roger say that you are the world's greatest consumers. And I'm curious to know how you felt when Roger identified you as ultimate consumers who are being, I need to look, who are being used to market someone else's merchandise. Uh, I kind of felt offended, like at first, whenever, same way that he felt whenever he was at his conference. And he was like, oh, did he just insult us for a job 3,000 to 1? I kind of felt the same way at first because he's not our age. He doesn't live the world we live in. He isn't part of this uprising of consumerism. Like, he is, but he's, you know, taken a step away from it because he's not the target audience of millions of companies. So at first, I kind of felt offended, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized he's making a valid point. That's what society today has turned American teenagers into. I agree. I agreed with him from the get-go, yeah. but I think it's justifiable because wanting to fit in is an evolutionary trait to survive. It's not just I want to fit in. I don't want to die. Not. So are you a Fayetteville wrestler or are you just a friend of one? Um, I was one. Okay. I think a really big part of the media giving us, you know, targeting us as consumers is that they give us these images that we can't necessarily be, you know, especially for girls. You know, we see these really thin, you know, big busted women on TV, and it's like, you know, well, is that the image we're supposed to fit into? Because they're Photoshopped, and I can't be that ever. I don't have that body type, neither does anybody else. And it's hard to explain, but sometimes you look at it and you're like, I'll never be able to fit in because you just can't. It's not real. It's not an actual thing. It's just an image that they give you. And that's what makes, it, that's what makes us want to buy whatever it is because we want to be like that person even though they're not, they're not exactly real. Part of the reason we're such good consumers is how the producers are able to program this into our minds. They, it's not just like commercials you see on TV of extremely attractive people using specific brand names or doing specific things or engaging in certain activities or playing sports or whatever. You've got, like they use color schemes to influence your emotions. They use music tempo and different music pitches to affect how you think. They use um, different, all kinds of things, internet ads, how one image blends to the next. It all affects your emotions and how you think. And 
it's almost impossible to recognize. And it's this ingenious system that they've developed so that if you watch a commercial for more than two seconds sometimes, they have got you. And part of our great challenge in life is to be able to protect ourselves from that. Because not all of it's good. There's harm in that. We are being brainwashed. And they know that they can do it. And so you think that's why Roger brought it up? <coughs> that's why he brought it up. He, so you're aware. He's, yeah. Mo most of the time, it's you get adults who are aware of that. Teens don't realize that. Pop culture is aimed towards 15-year-olds.